Shalom, shalom kulam. We are back uh, for the final lesson, the Mem Sophie. It's the Mem appearing in the uh, as a suffix. We've already looked at the Mem appearing as a prefix to mean uh, preposition from or out of or in the comparative, uh, better than or bigger than. Uh, we've also used the Mem prefix as a marker for the participle verb in some of the binyanim, which also turns out to make it a, um, a noun prefix. We've looked at the mem suffix with the yud mem, uh, plural, masculine plural, and we're going to see now that the uh, suffix is also used for other forms of the third person plural masculine. So let's go to the scriptures and see what we find out. Breshit Bet Pasukarishon Genesis two one Vayahulu Hashamayim Vahaaret Vahol Tsivaam Breshit Yud Bet Pasukhamesh Genesis twelve five Vayikach Avram et Sarai Ishto Vet Lot ben Achiv Vet Kol Rechusham Asher Achashu Vet Hanefesh Asher Asu Bacharan Vietsu la lechet artsak naan, Vyavou artsak naan. In our first example from Genesis 2, we see Tsiva'am. So the Memsafit is being used as a possessive, their host. In the second example, uh, it's talking about Avram and his wife Sarai and their nephew Lot. And the word there is Rechusham. Rechush is wealth. And it's all their wealth. So the memsa feet is a possessive plural for the third person masculine, their. Mlachim Alek Aleph Perek Chet Pasuk Arbaim Beshesh. First Kings eight forty six. Ki yechet ulach, ki ain adam asher lo yechet ha, va anaftavam. Benetatam lefne oyev, Vishavum shovehem, el eretz ha oyev, rechoka o krova. In previous lessons, we have talked about uh, different uh, letters being translated as a preposition. In particular, here we see the bet. And the bet can be translated as with or in. And here we see the mem safit attached to it. The uh, anafta vam. Uh, and you are angry, we translate the bet here as with, and the memsofit is a suffix that means with them. It's a third person masculine plural. Here are some other prepositions. We have two prepositions that mean with, and one of them is alef tav. So we have to be careful, we've talked about this in other lessons, to see is that alef tav just the direct object marker, or is it the preposition with? And we will see the direct object marker a little further down the line, but right here, this is the preposition with. It's talking about Noah and his sons and their wives, and it says e tom with them. In other words, their wives are going with the sons, with them. The other uh, preposition that means with is im, with an ayin, ayin mem, and if you know the word imanuel, imanuel, Emmanuel, God with us. So this is imam, and that means with them. And we have one more mem sofit in this example that's at the end of the verb, l'shloach, l'shalcham. And here this mem sofit represents 
the masculine plural object of the verb to send them. So it's talking about um, Abraham uh, walking out with the angels that came to visit him, and he's sending them off to Sodom and Gomorrah, Leshalchem, to send them. Bereshit Zion, Pasuk Shalosh Esrei, Genesis seven thirteen. Be'etzem hayom hazeh ba'noach Here are some other mems of beads being used as the object of the verb. U'netanam, and you gave them as um, the object of the verb, them. The object of the verb is the verb is give, okay, and the object is them. In the second example, Ra'a, he saw Ra'a, the Meshachit is them, he saw them. We want to give just a word of warning here because the Mem is not the only form that that object of the preposition or object of the verb will take. Sometimes you see the whole form for them, which is Hem. So, for example, even though with the bet you can say bomb in them or with them, with the lamed, for example, you have to use the whole ver the whole preposition la hem, and you will see same thing with verbs. So we want to say it's not exclusive. The mem is not the exclusive way to express uh, them as the object of a preposition or the object of a verb, uh, but. It is one of the ways that that is uh, shown in the language. In this final example from Genesis 5, we're going to see uh, four different uses for this mem safit. So we have zakar, unakeva, bira, am. So that first one, bara, it breaks down into bara, he created, the mem safit is the object of the verb, he created them. Viyavarech otam. This is the mem safit, the third person masculine plural, being attached to the olive top. Remember before we looked at the preposition olive top, which means with, uh, itam, this is otam, it shows us the object of the verb, yivarech, and he blessed them. Vayikra et Shema, and he called, Aleph Tav, here comes the direct object, Shema is, breaks down into Shem, and the Mem Shem name, and their, their name. The Mem Safid is a third person masculine plural uh, possessive. Shemam, their name, he called them Adam. Bayom in the day, he bar am. So that last verb is a nifal, infinitive, um, and uh, we would translate it as a noun, creation. And so again, it's the possessive, he bar am, in the day of their creation, in the day they were created. So we have finished the mem today, and next time we'll go on to another letter of the Aleph Bet. In the meantime, Tasimete Nayim, Al Hashemayim, keep your eye on the sky, your redemption draweth nigh. Shalom.